there, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I'm doing a Bible page about our first official drive-up service at my church that we are doing this weekend. And over the past couple weeks, we've done prayer services, just prayer meetings in the parking lot. And I did this little drawing coming before our Lord with all the cars approaching the throne of God. And I thought, I'm going to put that in my Bible, or at least a version of it. So I chose Isaiah 12, give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done, and proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. And I'm going to kind of have the same sort of an idea here, but drawing it a little bit differently, and hopefully in a simple way that you can replicate whether you're doing this with watercolors or pencils or just drawing with a pen, whatever you'd like to do. I'm going sideways because I want to use those lines in the border for the cars in the parking lot because then I don't have to do math and draw lines for them. So I've drawn a cloud. This is the Shekinah glory of God that we are all facing. And I'm not saying the Shekinah glory of God lives in our church but that we are all driving up to be in the presence of God together. And whether or not we're in the building doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if we're together. We can do this at home, but boy, does it make a huge difference to do it with others, doesn't it? So I am drawing little cars here in every other spot because that's the way we park because we want to keep everybody away from each other. We don't get out of our vehicles while we go to these particular things. We're very good about that. We have staff who run around in the parking lot and they hold signs that say we love and miss you and that sort of thing and you can wave to other people in their cars and it's it's been a wonderful thing to have for a couple weeks but now we're going to have an actual service doing it this way. And the cars I'm basically drawing rectangles with little windows in the front. The, the top two lines are the front windows with mirrors sticking out on the sides and the cars all being various lengths because, you know, some cars are short cars, some cars are long cars, and I'm just doodling them. You're not going to see a whole lot of this tiny line work when I'm all done because mine's going to have watercolor over it and all sorts of things. But if you wanted to do this and then just color them in in pencils, that would even be cute to have some bright colored cars this way. But I'm going to do some painting. So I've got my my lines for the, the cloud of the Shekinah glory all there. And I'm just going to paint the earthly part with some uh, black paint. Uh, it's just watercolor and I'm going to go over everything. I know I did all that drawing and then I'm going to paint over it. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. I'm just going to spread the color out with my brush. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe and put the rays in there. Remember I drew a couple of pencil lines those are intended to be the rays coming from the throne of the Lord shining out on us as we are in the parking lot praising him. Because we do have worship when we have these services. We have people who are leading worship outside in the kind of entryway of the church and the pastor preaches from out there. It's been, it's been good. Even on one day when it rained, we actually did a service when they were under a tent. So they just put a little tent up outside that sort of thing. So they could all be out there with us. Now I've got paint on my baby wipe and I'm going to tap the baby wipe into the cloudy areas so that I have something to put the white into because the white's going to look more white once it's actually over some color. So right now it just looks kind of messy, but hang tight. I'm going to drop in color into each one of the cars. Now you could switch to acrylic if you want to have really bright cars. I wanted mine to be a little bit muted and you'll see why because I'm going to add the rays in there later. But I was even thinking you could just stop with what I'm doing here and just add the cars and leave the cloud as it is and it would be really cute because you could have brighter colors. I went with watercolors because I wanted them to be more subtle and more subdued but I think that could be also a really fun type of way to do something in your Bible. You could do that with pencils as well and you don't even have to color the parking lot. <laughs> you could just let it be. So I'm going to put a piece of copier paper over top of it and iron it 
so it'll get a little bit flatter and I can work on it a little bit more and add more details to it. And the iron is just a regular old household iron and it's on, I guess, high heat? I don't know, I just kind of throw it on one of the buttons and then do it for just a few seconds and that flattens it out. So now I'm gonna take a gel pen, just a white gel pen, and I'm gonna put the light from, the, from God's throne shining on each of the cars. So it's gonna shine on the front of the car and on the windshield. That's why I drew those windshields in there. So that's where I'm gonna put those, the little line across and then dots for each one on top of each one of the, the mirrors, the rear view mirrors and things, or the side view mirrors, not rear view mirrors. And so they're, they're all there with the glory of God shining on them. And now I can take my, my pen and just kind of work on these lines coming from the throne and pouring out on us. Now, white gel pen, at least this white gel pen, I can actually take my finger and smush it, and that will spread it out a little bit because it's almost like a paint, you know, when it's a, a good thick white pen. But that gave me the idea to additionally take some acrylic paint, and I watered it down just a little bit with a little bit of water, and I'm finger painting the clouds. So don't worry if your clouds don't look like clouds if you're going to do this step because they're going to look like clouds as soon as you add the white paint. Because remember I said that they're going to look whiter against something that has some color in it. So that's where the gray comes in. You could also make that gold in the clouds or you could make uh, blue in the clouds, all different kinds of things. But I was just using what was left over on that baby wipe that I used to spread out the, the, uh, the glow in the parking lot. So just kind of spreading the color out, tapping it on here and there, smooshing it around. And then I thought, well, what happens if I use this, this white paint as well, instead of just having little lines sticking out from the gel pen, if I just spread kind of some of that color out over the cars, so that light is coming out and then it got too heavy. Well, the nice thing about it is that it's still wet, so I can just take a baby wipe and smush it a little bit. And now I've got this paint that's getting thinner. You know, it gets thinner as you, you wipe it off a little bit with the baby wipe. So I can spread it out and then just dab some off and then blend it. So you see why it, the cars don't really matter a whole lot, because I knew I was going to be covering them somehow with that Shekinah Glory. Now, I just did one pass really quickly over the acrylic paint after it was dry, and you saw that it stuck. So make sure that you don't iron over top of anything with any vigor. If you need to do a little bit of ironing, just do one pass really quick and let it cool down. And then if you need to do another pass, then do another pass after it's all cooled down because you can melt acrylic and then it will get stuck to whatever it's against and yeah. Don't ask me how I know that because I've done that a few times before when I forgot what I had done. So now I'm doing something for the words that I'm going to put on my page. You could just write words on the page, whatever you want about drive up church or whatever you would like to use for this whole concept. But I am making some street signs. I thought that would be kind of fun since I have cars involved here. And it's not really meant to be part of the scene. It's not like these street signs are going to be in heaven. But I'm just painting some shapes with acrylic paints. And acrylic paints will take some time to dry. So let all that dry. And then I took a black pen and outlined them. And if your painting is a little wonky like mine, it's really kind of easy to just clean that up by doing some little lines with a pen. So I'm just going to go around each one of them and then give them each a stick to kind of stick into the ground. So I have three little sticks coming down from my signs, posts or whatever I guess you'd call them, and then add the words. And for me, I was texting with one of the pastors and we were talking about it being a park and praise. And I thought that would be good to have in my Bible, a little park and praise event before the Lord before the king of the universe, before the throne of God. And uh, yeah, I thought that would be kind of fun to put in my Bible to commemorate our first ever drive up service. I know some churches have had them for a while. We have had our prayer meetings, but this will be our very first 
like full on try to get the whole church to come out and sit in the parking lot thing. We will see how it goes. How many people get inspired to come join us because it was a lot of fun when we did the prayer meetings. Alrighty, I'm going to go. I hope this was helpful to you that you may have learned something, even if you're not going to do this page, that you can take one of the techniques that I have taught here and do something wonderful with it yourself. And I will see you again next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.